I am going to show you how to take a wireframe model where the modes have been solved for and overlay a CAD model so that you can see what the CAD model would look like if it were undergoing that mode. So here I've got a rudimentary model of a plane. I've got the body, the two wings, and the tail. And if I go into my section, I can see the modes. So here's a mode I can click and drag. It's like the first mode. This looks like bending mode. And then there's a flapping mode. So if I wanted to overlay the CAD model, I could right click and go to component visualization and assuming that your components and your coordinate system is set up properly i can import this cad model i'm going to click and check this on you'll be able to see it here and click ok now if you're thinking well the wireframe model is moving but the cad model is not that's okay i'm going to fix that so what i'm going to do is right click and go to animation settings and at the very bottom there's something called automatic geometrical if I click that, you can see that it's now projected onto the nearest nodes of your CAD model, and we're seeing what the whole plane would look like if it were deformed. If I want to get rid of these white lines, I can right click and go to undeformed model and uncheck lines, and go to deformed model and uncheck lines. So now I've got my plane, and I'll do even one better. I'm going to add some color. If I right click again, I can go to coloring. I'm going to hit enable. And now I've got a color scheme based on the highest and lowest points of deformation. I can also overlay modes. So let's say I have mode three and I wanna see how it compares to mode two. And you'll notice that as I drag it forward at the tooltip, it says main. And if I drag it to the back portion, it'll say overlaid. And little black dots should appear kind of on the half of the screen. So I'm gonna overlay these. And now I can see the two different mode shapes overlaid on top of one another. These look very similar, but out of phase. So if I wanted to correct that to see what they would look like in phase, I can right click and go to animation control. And now I can alter the phase. So maybe this aligns closer to 170. So that's how you can mess around with the animation settings to overlay mode shapes and to overlay CAD geometry onto a wireframe mesh.